Uh, what was on my list to do right now, even more so, is get this boat out. It's been back on the back of the property and wrapped up ever since we left last uh, fall. So, hey, today's the day we're getting it out. It's warm, it's comfortable, it's sunny, it's even a little hot. I could be swimming on a day like this. So, the wraps are coming off of the boat. That's all I'm saying. The wraps are coming off. So, where's a good place to sit, y'all? I need to sit y'all someplace so you can see me it's all about seeing me isn't it every every all the time i'm looking for a place to put y'all so you can see me Dang, there's a honey jar if i put you on the honey jar that's a real honey jar it's from a local local beehive lady just up the road we sit y'all on the honey jar there So I had that big old orange mower that Larry gave me, the one that I used around here for about a year and a half, and the one that had the crack block, and the one that I fixed a lot. And I had it up for sale, and this guy called me and offered to swap me this Stanley Jump It thing. And it's just basically like a car battery with a set of built-in jumper cables, and it charges itself when you plug it in. It's got a USB port. It's got this battery status thing. It tells you how much battery you got and it's got a cigarette lighter and there's a, i mean there's a usb port so i guess that enables the usb port anyway i have in the past run two batteries and two gas tanks in this boat and even though there's a lot of room in there with two gas batteries and two gas tanks it's pretty full and i'm nervous about having the gas tanks and the battery all there close to each other where they can create sparks if they get too affectionate with each other so i was thinking i said one actually the battery one of those batteries is now in that truck because when i got it the battery was dead but i was thinking what if i just put one battery in there and put this in there because i think the only time i would never need that second battery would be if i needed to use the trolling motor which i almost never use so yeah that'll save me a goodly bit of space so what i'm going to do today i'm going to throw both those batteries well, that battery and this thing in the boat and the two gas tanks, which are full. I filled them up before I left last time, so hopefully the gas is still good. And me and Honey Baby are going to go to the lake. We're going to put this thing in the water, and we're going to ride around, splash around, and see how it works out in the lake. See if everything is still good. See if it's forgotten how to run and be a fun boat. So, that's what I'm doing. I'm going to grab up some, grab me up some gas tanks and such. And then, on the honey jar for y'all to sit on. I think I like that honey jar thing. It's not the best. Not the best, but it's not the worst. I could set you on this antifreeze. I'll set you on the antifreeze jug, but it may be causing you to have to look at the garage the side of the garage thing. Let's try that. These gas tanks are not overly light. Big ladder, but it still works. Noticing I got my flip floppers on too. That's a sure sign of summer. Bill was always joking about us Yankee manners swimming down here while we were in Florida. While he considered it to be still cold. We didn't think it was that cold, but we're from we're from Maine and we're acclimated to very frozen water and such. And he's from Florida and he thought it was cold 
while we were down at Salt Springs swimming last week. So, I guess it just has to do with what you're used to. You get used to being frozen half the year and rarely ever being able to get in the water unless it's really been warm for a while. You get water, it's a little bit warm. I feel pretty good. I'm just saying, I feel pretty good. 